Winter break is just around the corner, which means school age kids will be home with a lot of free time on their hands. Also on their hands will likely be a screen. Up to 95% of teens have a smartphone. Which begs the question, how much screen time is too much? It's an eternal question around mm -hmm. here, really. Alina Health Family Physician, Dr. Sue Inouye, is here to help us navigate that very important question. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being here. So. Let's help people avoid the cries from their teenager of, I'm bored, there's mm -hmm. nothing to do while all the adults sit around and, and chat all weekend long. Well, we have guidelines for really young kids. The older kids is not as clear, but um, from newborns to 18 months of age, the recommendation is to have no screens. They, they're fascinated by them, but the recommendation, aside from video chatting, mm -hmm. recommendation is to have no screens. And between 18 months and 24 months, the, the recommendation is to have um, highly high quality educational programs uh, for them um, and limit it to an hour at a time. Between ages two and five, uh, an hour of non-educational screen time has not been shown to show any negative effects, um, but the the gray area becomes the six and above. Mm -hmm. And that's the part that, that's the age where they start to say, "No, give me my screen," or mm -hmm. they start to fight back a little bit. You know, how can we help parents navigate that area? Because it's different in every household. Eventually, it goes from iPad to a cell phone, and sure. it's on them. Uh, any suggestions for the parents if it's getting? some conflict involved here. Well, I think the first thing to understand is um, there's now four different categories of screen time. Um, there's the passive where people are watching movies or um, binge watching their TV shows or scrolling TikTok um, ad nauseum. And then there's, and that's probably the most um, unhelpful for, for children. Then there's interactive uh, screen time, which is, um, playing games, problem solving. Then there's communication where people are video chatting or they're engaged in social media. And then there's creative content where they're, the kids can be creating music or doing digital art. So understanding all those different forms and um, incorporating the other forms, limiting the passive is, is helpful. Yeah. But also to know what sites your children are accessing, um, which apps that they're using is also really, really helpful, and to, to do it along with them. Yeah, that's a good distinction. So not all screen time is bad, mm -hmm. but how do we know if it is becoming unhealthy for, for the kids in our lives? Um, it can affect sleep. So uh, what are the recommendations also is to have kids charge their phones outside their room, charge their screens, um, and have them take them away. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of peer pressure um, we recommend having uh, children tell tell their friends, you know, my parents are not letting me do this and being the scapegoats for them. Um, there are sites uh, that are unbiased, like uh, Common Sense Media that the uh, Academy of Pediatrics uh, references mm -hmm. um, for for additional ideas on which sites could be helpful. Yeah, and if you're a parent researching this out there, don't uh, hesitate to also look at what adults should do about this too, because I think, as we were saying, this is mm -hmm. something that all ages needs to pay attention to when it comes to the screen time. Thank you so much Absolutely. for joining us today yeah, on The Four. We you. appreciate it.